and blessings and love. Ooh, feeling great. Trust your vibes Thursday is what I'm going to call it. And we're going to start out with some power thoughts. I learn my lessons in life easily and effortlessly. Love operates in all of my relationships from the most casual to the most intimate. The power thoughts that I take. So we're going to do Trust Your Vibe Thursdays. That's what we're going to call it. Because I don't... I had a, had it set, but I was focusing on other types of videos, and I forgot how I had set it up. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle these cards while burning my blue candle, green, yellow, white. Red. Hope everybody doing well, growing spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, and loving themselves. Mm, shuffling the wrong way. Gotta celebrate life. Uh, gotta be patient. I was told to be patient. <laughs> I was told I'm demanding. I want it when I want it. I need to learn how to be patient. <laughs> That's what I was told. <laughs> I had to laugh at that. Oh, man. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. We all have our point in time in death. And remember everything you do has a consequence. Remember that. Remember whatever you do in life has a consequence, whether good or bad. Be careful about what you do to people, what you say. Be mindful of those thoughts. And I'm being stalked right now. I've been being stalked for the last four years, which is is which which is ridiculous. And I'm gonna share that story. It's, it's, it's a shame that I have been stuck for, for almost four years now. And it's by another female. And it's just ridiculous, but neither here nor there. Alright, today's card is Call on Your Joy Guides. Hold well, on, you join your joy, guys. It's the card for today. Let's see what that says. To card number sixteen. Your situation at this moment may feel critical, but don't allow it to become too serious, or you'll lose your way. Remember, on a soul level, this too shall pass, and it will pass much easier with the help of your joy guides to lighten your mood and elevate your vibration so you can move on to better times. Learn to recognize when your joy guides are on, your, on the scene. They like to play games and sometimes practical jokes with you to keep you from taking things too personally. They... They're good at getting your attention with their antics. They may hide your keys, move your things, and steal one of your socks out of the dryer. Are the joy guys capturing your attention? Where or how are they getting you to relax a little and laugh at yourself? Let them call on your joy guys. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love, Miss Hadia Giddy.